What's up everybody, this is Light here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a custom profile for the Java Minecraft launcher. So first thing you're going to want to do is open up your Minecraft launcher and head up into the installations. Now when you're in the installation, you'll click on this little plus new, It'll uh, it's where you create uh, new installations. So from here, you're going to come in here and you name this whatever you want. For now, I'm just going to call this the custom profile. Um, on your version, this is the version you're wanting this custom profile to be under. So for me, I'm just going to do the latest release. Now you can also use this for your mods and things like that. Now this will work with Forge and Fabric too, so don't worry about that. You'll just come into your server directory and create or select that one. So for now, we'll leave that there. After you do that, you're going to go into the game directory browser. And from here, you're already selected on the Minecraft. You want to make new folder. So from here, you've got this new folder area here and just name that whatever you're going to call it. Um, if you do have multiple names, you need to put this underscore right there if you can see it. Uh, in between, don't have any spaces. So after you've named that, you can hit OK. So after that, you can come down here and click on this Create. And then you have your custom profile. Uh, from here, you can go ahead and come up here and hit Play. This will start creating all the libraries and different pieces you need to run your profile. And since this is a new custom Minecraft, everything's going to be a little loud and not in your normal areas. Let me turn all that down music all the way off. So yeah, this is a brand new install. Nothing is going to be how you mostly play with. So if you're wanting to go back to those settings, don't worry, I will show you how to do that in just a second. But from here, you can make this your custom, say you only want to hear hostile creatures on this profile, or on your custom profile here. You can do that and just customize how you want all of this to be. Um, but to change out that and also be able to have like your single player worlds um, ported over here or your multiplayer worlds. I'll go over how to do your multiplayer worlds on this, but see right here it shows we have no servers or anything like that. So I will show you how to get those over here. So for now, we can just exit out of this because it needs to update. So what you're gonna wanna do next is come down here into your search menu and you're gonna wanna do percent and then app data percent. Is going to bring you into your main um, area of all of your different programs on your computer. Now this next part, um, I've already done it up here in the corner, but I would suggest getting this Minecraft folder and go ahead and create a shortcut to it. Um, I cannot find the shortcut that actually puts it straight to your desktop, but you can just create a shortcut and then drag this onto your desktop and go ahead and name it whatever you like. But since I already have it over there, I've actually named it the Minecraft. So I'm just gonna delete that one out of the way. Having the Minecraft shortcut on your desktop really helps a lot if you're constantly putting mods or taking screenshots out, stuff like that. So it really helps uh, where you don't have to come down here and keep uh, entering app data percent and all that. So once you're here, we're going to still use this one over here, click into the Minecraft, and then right here you can see here's your custom profile, you can click into that, and it's got your logs, uh, if you have any resource packs for that custom one, this is where you'll put them into this resource packs folder, because this will be different than your normal resource pack folder. All the settings for that I was talking about earlier, render distance, you know, anything that has to do with any settings 
even how big the test screen is. So if you want your normal settings, all you have to do is in a different folder over here, go ahead and open the Minecraft again over on the side. And then down here, you'll see the options. This options is for your main launcher options. So this is what you normally play with. So over here, you can go ahead and delete your options on your custom profile and then come over here and copy out this profile and right click and paste into this area here and that will have all the settings of your normal minecraft profile uh, if you want your servers here are servers and you also have um more for single player but that gets into a little more so come in here you can also copy out your servers and then paste it into this area here so when it comes to mods the mods will be you just come over here uh, we can close this out real quick and we make this a little bit bigger so your mods will come to this file too so what you do is go ahead and create a new folder and just call this one lowercase uh, mods so from here you can just open this up and you would drop in any uh, mods for this version. And that's how you do it, guys. If you have any questions, concerns, leave a comment down below. And I hope this really helped you out. Learn how to do custom profiles on the Minecraft Java launcher. Thanks, guys, and see you again.